Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being frightened, and he doesn't like that at all. One evening, he was dozing happily, but Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas. Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not. Anyway, I was only pretending to be scared. I knew it was you, really. Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves the light on for you tonight. Why? asked Thomas. I quite like the dark. Oh, really? exclaimed Percy. I am surprised. I always thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder why. Thomas decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Flower. Is that? Hi there, Phil. How are things? Flower, my friend, although I am an animal with magic powers, I have something extraordinary to show you and Bambi. See here? See that green cube and that red cube? Those things are called the holocrons. Holocrons? What are holocrons? Well, you see, about that red cube and that green cube, the holocrons are very different compared to the Zeo Crystal, like the thing that Simba destroyed a while back. But this is even better. That little show-off. I'll show her. I know. I'll get even with her. I'll get even with Princess Feline. Or my name isn't Agatha. My faithful followers. Mr. Zagatha. Mr. Zagatha. Come here. I have a very important job for you. Yes, Mistress Agatha? Percy was asleep on his siding and had no idea that Thomas was approaching him. Percy woke up with a start. Help! cried Percy. I'm not going to open my eyes until my driver comes. Mr. James Hook? If there are any more hunters uh, trying to catch me, how am I supposed to, to defend myself? Do you mind if I hide it in where your home is? Well, no. Not at all. There! <gasps> hey, what's going on here? This will be your new home, where I can find you as always. Next morning, the switches were mended and Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night. Gordon was in no mood for puzzles. I'm a busy engine. I don't have time for your games. I've seen a huge dragon. It was covered in lights. Gordon snorted. You've been in the sun too long. Your dome has cracked. Captain, there's a skunk. Hang on, Feline. I'm here. Flower. The captain says go away. Fluttershy was always very nice to me, but I never appreciated it running away and hurting her feelings. The Great Stag says that Bambi changed. Bambi says I didn't fit my own father. Ronald says he hates me and, and. It's all my fault. I'll never forgive myself. Never, never. 
They let my best friend go. They let her out of her cage. Yes. Oh, Bambi. How did you ever find me? Well, a little help from those creatures over there. Todd, Jack. Cry, Blast it all! Uh oh. <laughs> ah, no! Ah. Yeah, that's my bro. Oh, Feline. My little Feline. I love you. decided to tell Thomas the truth. Well, Percy, said Thomas, maybe we do get scared sometimes, but if we're not afraid to tell each other, then that means we're quite brave, too. We've crossed the seas together, and we've had our ups and downs. We've gone further than we ever dreamed from our county Galway town. Well, if our month of tomorrow, It was a whole new beginning.